For a limited time, visit an inmate from the comfort of your home for only $5. Take advantage of this limited time promotion by going to www.securistech.net and creating a Securus video visitation account today. Thank you for using Securus. You may start the conversation now. Change your alpha me. Change your alpha. Well, no. Damn, man. I'm just. I can't just jump down and check on it and see where you're going to put the jump down and do it. See, this, 
I, I go to court at on um, jail. I don't go to court downtown. I know that. I still have to do that to check on me. See, it ain't, it, like, if you check, it ain't going to say it in the computer. It, it, like, in the computer, it's saying I don't have a court date. So, you go this Friday? I'm supposed to go this Friday. Like, my, my probation house, uh, they shouldn't call my probation house. The probation yeah. house told her that I was on the calendar for 13. <laughs> what I was going to say, uh, so, so, you, so they holding you just for probation? Yeah, that's the only thing I got here for me. I don't got no new charge. You talk to your, you talk to your probation officer? Yeah, I talked to her. She ain't put the hold on me. Who did? Yeah, um, what you say? So he didn't put the fucking probation officer on me. Did he? Uh huh? What you say, man? I said, so if, if she didn't put the probation hold on you, who did? Her supervisor. The police. Why? The police had went to the, um, the, uh, the night nigga pulled up on me and shot at us. The police got mad because they ain't saying that. So he, he, um, he went, he couldn't, he couldn't lock me up because they ain't had no gun, they ain't had nothing. So he went to my probation house and asked them, like, is there anything I haven't been doing? And they be like, I ain't did my community service. So he locked me up for not doing community service. But everybody, like, they didn't even lock me up. But I, I could have been doing bitch through that probation for that. Nah, yeah. I'm going to get out when I go to court. It's just, they, won't, they, they won't give me no court date. So don't we really need to get you a court date? Yeah, I've been trying to get a lawyer, but I couldn't I, can talk, I need to talk to Lil' Jeff. Uh, I need to talk to Lil' Jeff's dad about it. Because, you know, Lil' Jeff's dad know those people. Um, Jeff know those people. He know them people at the courthouse and at Street. Yeah. But I, I, the only reason why I said that is get Jeff because... Jay was like, she was going to handle it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. She's not her brother. Her folks are only she. So whenever she hears her, she was going to call me back and tell me. But I ain't even talked to her. Every time she talked, every time she got the rest of it, we in, I called at night. I ain't talked to her. She got like my two weeks, so. Who? Jay. Not that whole eight lot, but she on Instagram. Oh. Now, she look. See, when they had locked me up, then they did pull the chain out here and brought the tube back downtown and tried to question me again. You feel me? Yeah. And then, like, they see, they, 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 they're holding me in jail. See, whenever I go to court, they're going to let me go. I just got to go to court. Yeah. Well, we need to be trying to figure that out. Because we ain't in Atlanta. We won't be back in Atlanta to pay for the tea. But, yeah. you know, like, we can feel, we can feel, like, look, if I go, I do go tell the child, he's going to go in there and get you a court date. You feel what I'm saying? Ask, ask me, see what he say. Huh? Hello, I don't know what you're saying. Who are you saying? Hello? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. Hello? Oh, what's up? What's going on? Bob, man. Hey, Bob, now you're on. We're going. What's going on, Snap? Hey, man, I need his lawyer, man. A lawyer? I've been told him. They won't, they won't, they won't keep me, they won't take me to court. And they saying the only way I get in the court is for lawyer. Uh, I need a lawyer. I've been told them you're good at calling. Huh? I said, I've been told you're good at calling. They said she wouldn't have some phone number about some shit. Yeah. I know, I know. What are they talking about? Whenever I go to court, I get out. I, they say I'm. Yeah. What they, what they just probation? Yeah. I suppose we go to Friday. But ain't nobody can't talk to me. And last time they did it, they had reset me. So, and without, yeah. I, I need to get, get a lawyer, and the lawyer get me in there, and I just go ahead and get out. Yeah, who, 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 who you want? Huh? I said, who you want? Who I want? Yeah. What you mean, who I want? A lawyer? Yeah. I don't know, I don't know no lawyer. So, I'm saying, what's your charge? What is it, a probation violation? Yeah, all the thing you said, I ain't did no community service. It's the only thing I got. You ain't do no community service? Yeah. Good. That's the only thing. They, yeah, they're trying to take me. They're trying to take me your personal last name, your charge. I just texted my lawyer. All right, I'm going to have her text to you. Text, tell, text right now, man. So you ain't got the phone. I said, I get the lawyer, you know, damn what I am, none of the boy. I've been told they're very calm. 
she got she just they just say she wanna have some phone with nobody or whatever. They shut. They lying. <laughs> Ain't no gonna call me. Man, yeah. Oh, Shanna, all of the deep. They just said, you know, I don't know about it. I told you. They told me. What's up? You told me to change my what, my name, and what? Your charge. Tell me your, your name, your birthday. You call you don't want your name, your birthday, and your charge. See, and then no, you I, got, I got a lot of charges, though. What are your probation violations? What are your charges? I ain't got no new charge. I don't think I got probation violations. <laughs> But I'm on, I got like three, I got three all different cases, but it's all upon the white probation. You got three what, sir? I got three violations, I mean three um, cases that I'm on probation for, but it's all upon the white um, probation hold. So when you got locked up, you didn't have no new charge? Nah, they, they didn't have them charge me with Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah, that's too good. So they did, they did. They're um, good. They, they brought me down here and they, they, they. They came and push me the next day after they brought me to jail. They came and push me about some shit. <coughs> and then they brought me back down here. And I ain't been pushed. <coughs> so she need to test her name and your birthday and your and whatever your charges are. You in Rice Street, huh? Yeah, I'm in Rice Street. He's going to you know, he'll come down in the morning. I go to court and hit the jail. You say what? You go to court when? I go to court at the jail. I don't, I'm supposed to go Friday. He said oh, I'm you going to go to home. Um, you are here in court. I, when, like, yeah, <clears> yeah when I go to court, like here in court. Yeah, I already know that. You just got to get, you just got to get in the courtroom. Yeah, that's all I got to do. You got to get on the goddamn felony. You know, they should have been called, they would have called me that lawyer. You finally got locked up. Or the next month for the morning. Yeah. I be, I be, I'm trying I to call. Every time I call Shannon's Teen Elsa, and then when I got her phone, she'd be trying to be like, yeah, call back. And shit like that. Hold on. But I had tried well, calling her phone, she ain't had no minutes. Who? Max, she ain't had no minutes. Yeah. I don't know. I'm telling you, put something on her. Uh, nah, she ain't got to put nothing on her. Nah. That jinx. I mean, put nothing on her phone. Yeah. That jinx. I ain't ever did that. Yeah. I ain't it with my life. Like that, like them putting me on the phone. I just feel like they, I feel like they think like you know you gonna you gonna fit. Yeah. I ain't ever did that. Yeah, I'm tight. room going around. Somebody they beat me up in there, man. <laughs> <laughs> you already know all that was coming. I already knew all that was coming. <laughs> oh, they say your shit just everybody out black in your eyes. Yeah, they say they say the um, <laughs> police, the police on um, them jump on. Me. Crazy man. Man, I told her that I'm in the pub. And who are in the jail? Oh, they got me. That's what's your man. What's your man? This is a dread, bro. Man, what's your head you talking about? You know, I know, I know, you already know, I know what's happening. Some of y'all locked up, I was already like, what the hell, what they talking about? Now I'm talking about nobody. They want to try to tell you. Man, I don't stop right in front of these folks and look at these folks call. That's your phone. Yeah. I made Bentley call her. Like, call her. See, just see what the fuck going on. Because it's probation. It's just a little bullshit. But the probation will try to hold you. Just because of just about their money or whatever. So I already know that. All I can say. I would just gave my lawyer the three, four, man, 2500 You know, he'll go, he'll bring you. You have one minute court, left. Just for 20. He'll get you in the courtroom for 2500 You know, that ain't shit. That don't even want that much. One lawyer had told me. I know. Yeah. So this, uh, I'm out here. They're trying to teach, teach you all my information. So you say you try to get me in the morning. Yeah, I had a lawyer or whatever. Yo, 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 what to do, my people? It's your boy Mike Easy back with the real. You already know the deal, gang. And y'all just heard the conversation between YSL Woody, Young Thug, and a few other people, man. And, um, uh, Yo, it's a sad situation, man. It's a sad situation to be in a YSL Woody situation during that conversation right now because I've been in that position before. You know what I'm saying? I've been the one having to call home to try to get people to answer the phone call. Been the one calling home, you know, uh, just needing help, needing somebody to talk to. And like you said in that conversation, man, I done called like 10 times. Old girl ain't answer the phone for me. He's like, man, can you tell her, hey, 
that I'm calling, that I'm trying to do this, that I'm trying to do that. I'm stuck in here, man. I ain't got nobody. And uh, it's a sad situation, man, on a personal level. I know what that feels like, you know. For any of y'all that's got anybody in jail or in the pen or in prison or know somebody like that, man, pick up the phone for them when they call. You don't know how much that can make somebody's day just to be hearing somebody's voice from the outside that you know of. It's just different from everything you hear every day because being in jail or prison is a hard thing, man. You're on a street schedule. You can't talk to people when you want to on the phone. Uh, you want limited time conversations. And whenever you go back to prison, you got to have money on your books. You got to have money on your time. And, uh, you know, to even speak on the phone like that, man. So... You know, it's just, it was sad for me hearing that because, you know, Woody just act like he was lost in that conversation. He, you can tell it's kind of old conversation because for one, him and Young Thug ain't really seeing eye to eye right now. Whatever happened between them, there's a few speculations. Uh, kind of broke them apart, kind of water up under the bridge right now, but they're not seeing eye to eye. You know, Woody still respect Young Thug and he don't want to see him go down for 20 years. That's why he's acting crazy on the stand, saying all these crazy different scenarios, telling the prosecutors that he's a liar. You can't believe nothing he said in his past interviews and statements and stuff like that because he knows them interrogation videos of him all the, over those years is really coming back to haunt him and everybody else. And, uh, but you know, Woody's trying to play it smart to the, he's trying to play his cards the best way he can. And uh, just trying to do whatever he can, you know, to throw him off and to make the jury think it's just something crazy. But prosecutors played that conversation right there to show the world and show the jury and show everybody in the courtroom that why I said Woody and Young Thug and them had a connection. They had, you know, some type of involvement with each other, basically trying to make it seem like they're in a the game. But Woody said he was in there on a probation violation. He wasn't even really in there on that crazy stuff like the federal trying to probably make it seem like out he was. He was old, Woody was in jail calling home asking for some help because he done did it, he done somebody, nah. He said they scooped him up on probation violation and wouldn't let him come out. And you can also tell this video is real, real old because not only is him and Young Thug ain't seen eye to eye no more, Woody didn't even know no lawyers to speak on. When they asked him what kind of lawyer or who he would prefer, he was like, I don't know, man, I don't know no lawyers. And if you go back to today's time, Will Woody probably knows five or 10 lawyers he can spin off the top of his head right now to get him about the jam if he wanted to, you know. But this was a time probably back in the day when they were just first started getting money, whenever he first started meeting you and Thug, first got introduced to the life, he was new. And um, I found out something today that Woody and Young Thug really didn't get to grow up together, man. They got connected from a mutual friend of Woody's. So Woody and Thug had a mutual friend that kind of like gave Young Thug Woody's number. Thug called Woody. And basically, it was like, yo, started checking on him, started hitting him up. You know, uh, the friend might have said, hey, Woody, a real dude. He a stepper, he a hitter, he a do what you need. And I thought it was like, I need somebody like that. You know, everybody needs, when you end up gang life or when you run into drugs or anything like that, man, you need fall guys. You need people that take charge as far as you need people that's going to step for you. Because you the big guy, you the bag holder, you can't come with the bag, you the main head of the snake. They cut you off, everybody else die out. So you recruit other people to do things for you so you don't get caught up. But that's why the feds and the state or the lawmakers introduced the RICO because at first they were just going after mobsters. They made the RICO for the mob, for the mafia, because they got tired of blocking one person up for their crimes and then just somebody else taking their spot and just kept on running the organization like nothing ever happened. They created the RICO to say, oh, all y'all into crime together and we're going to take all y'all down at once with this one new law. So that's why they basically say I said it was a game. But I think Young Thug, I mean, why I said Wood is doing a good job of kind of throwing off the prosecutors, throwing off the jury. I mean, by the end of this, there ain't no way a jury can look at why I said Woody like he's the same uh, witness. And they're calling Woody their number one witness. Ain't no way. Young Thug, I ought to beat this charge right here, man, because it's right here, bougie. Ain't nothing Woody's saying is, uh, 
you can't believe none of it. You know what I'm saying? You just really can't believe none of it. None of it. And um, I mean, it just is what it is, man. I don't even see how to this point they still got young thugging and locked up with how crazy this is. Everything that I'm been through with the judges, with the lawyers, with the prosecutors, and uh, it's just crazy that they still even has got this case going on right now. But that just goes to show you how bad and how you know triumphant they are at trying to you know convict you and Thug and them as being gang and uh, connecting them to beating up murder man. But it's very unfortunate. But I do see and hope. You know, until he walks away from this man because he got a good heart. He helped a lot of people out, man. Hey, the stuff in the gang is in between the gang. That's just what gangs do, you know. They've been doing that for years, man. So, I ain't saying killing nobody's right, but I'm saying, you know, uh, this ain't nothing new, you know. Hell, if you're going to come get you on know, this, you got to get everybody else for everything that they did, you feel me? But... Make sure y'all like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. Go ahead and drop a comment. Let me know what y'all think about this. And uh, you already know, man. I'll be back with the next one. Peace.